So a year ago, right here, right here, in fact, we announced a breakthrough in cancer, cancer research, an equally groundbreaking fundraising effort. All three of the evening anchors on the networks joined together for a telethon to end all telethons. Let's take a look at a moment from the telethon, Stand Up to Cancer. I keep dreaming of a future. A future with a long and healthy life, a life not lived in the shadow of cancer, but in the light. I see a future where all scientists come together in a unified agenda and share their research and their brilliance. I dream that the word cure will no longer be followed by the words it's impossible. And by the end of the night, $100 million was raised to fight the disease that claims the lives of more than 560,000 Americans every year. And today, a new announcement. We hope we'll shrink that number. Joining me now, Dana Delaney from Desperate Housewives, Dr. William Nelson of Johns Hopkins University, and, oh God, what's his name? It'll come to you, it'll come to you, work on it. Quick, it'll work on it. Chris Cuomo's predecessor. <laughs> <laughs> Cuomo's right. predecessor, Mr. that's right. Mr. Gibson, welcome back home. The guy who warmed the seat for Cuomo, that's what it was. I want to start, bring us up to date. And the number we said uh, more than 100 million. 100 million raised. bucks wasn't bad, huh? Yes. And what's the announcement today? Well, the announcement today is that the first grants are being made. Um, 73.6 million. You know, they said that night that almost, uh, virtually every dollar of this, was going to go to cancer research. But the innovative part of this, and Dr. Nelson has been involved in this, in this effort. The innovative part is this is not going to be individual guys sitting in laboratories around the country. They're going to put together teams working on very specific cancer problems, so-called dream teams, um, adopted from basketball, but if it works, it works. <laughs> and uh, so 73 million bucks is going to so be handed 70 out. Percent Dr. Of the money. Nelson himself is going to write a check for $73.6 <laughs> million. <dollars. laughs> and I'm going to get to Dr. Nelson in a, <laughs> in a minute to talk about where the money's going, but it's 70% as of right now. Yes, there and then there's going to be some uh, grants that are com come soon after, another 20 million uh -huh. uh, in grants to individuals. But these are five major problems in cancer research that really are the majority killers. That's, I think the cancers that you're going to attack are, what, 75% of the deaths, is that right? Something like that, that's yeah. right. And uh, each one is such a personal story, as we right. know, and Dana was there that night. Mm -hmm. Dana is here because your dad died of yes. pancreatic cancer. Well, we're all affected by we're it. We're all affected, all and us, you have yeah. two good friends who Yes, got my dad died thyroid. like uh, he had pancreatic cancer like Patrick Swayze that was so moving when he came out that night. My dad was 56. My two best friends, Holland Sutton is a breast cancer survivor and Terry Tobin is a uh, thyroid cancer survivor. And, and she was very daring that night on television. Uh, yes, I did a mammogram on camera. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and you were saying answering the phones again. Yeah. Every call that came in was a Well, you know, we were there answering your phones and, and people would call in and Everybody had a story. Every single person in this country has been affected by cancer. And they would donate. It didn't matter whether it was a dollar, five dollars. You know, we all need to get in this together. Well, with all the need out there and all the hope out there, Dr. Nelson, but you had hundreds of requests for grants and for money. How on earth did you make the decision? Well, the, the passion and the urgency, the cancer community, the researchers really came forward. They brought 237 proposals, and I can tell you, as someone who got to review them, they were all superb. We whittled that number down to eight. The people came and presented these proposals, and our charge was very specific. Get the best people to work on the best solutions and get them to people within three years. So tell us what kind of solutions you gave the money to help. Well, the five teams cover everything from breast cancer, pancreas cancer that we heard about, new technologies that bring engineering and medicine close together for new diagnostic uh, ap approaches and new ways to personalize medicine. One woman's breast cancer is not the same as another. All these are the ideas being pursued by the Stand Up to Cancer effort. The critical thing I think and, and something that I learned out of all this is you know you think of cancer as monolithic but it is so many different diseases and yet there are groups and classes of diseases and that's what you're doing in, in terms of these these teams right? Well that's right some of our newest drugs that are working their way into the clinic one of the targets of one of the the projects are very different than chemotherapy and they seem to help some people a great deal and others with the same cancers not so well and one of the groups is going to figure this out so we can get the right treatment to the right person. But when we hear this it sounds like the hope for a cure is raised to a whole new level of difficulty 
when you when you hear that it doesn't have to be one cure it can't be one cure it has to be a kind of person by person cure does that astronomically increase the dis difficulty it will make it very challenging I'm not sure it'll end up being person by person but groups of people by groups of people cancer is a daunting challenge but we're up to it we have smart people all throughout the country and the world they've been galvanized by the stand up to cancer effort and they're, they're ready to go so I know that Charlie you had a constellation site that you could go to and give a donation well that night that, that's right you could you give just a Robin. dollar and you could, and we uh, yeah I didn't break the bank with that one I gave a dollar for Robin <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we even went two. it was you know it knocked ourselves out there necklace is one of their stars oh really yeah that Jennifer Meyer designed it and um, can everybody see it can we come beautiful in beautiful star pretty. cancer star uh, that's beautiful yeah yeah I'm not wearing a necklace today. <laughs> <laughs> it looks much better on her <laughs> than, than it does on me. So if there's one thing you could say to everybody at home who wants to know, where do I direct my energy? Where do I direct my resources, whatever they are? What do you say to them? Well, you can go on the website. To, it's standuptocancer.org, and there's all this information. You can donate, learn something. So everybody should be involved. They're still raising money, and, and, it, and the critical thing here, and we talked a lot about it, a year ago is cancer research money is it, it was it's getting scarce it's getting harder and harder mm. uh, because the government uh, doesn't have the money that it had before uh, it's all going to automobiles and, uh, <laughs> and uh, other places mm. and um, uh, so this was to get cancer research back on the front burner get people thinking about it again a uh, hundred million dollars is a good start but people can double that triple that if they'd like to do that absolutely and we thank you all for coming in great to hear about what's happening where the money is going and then we'll get the second wave when the 30 percent goes out when you donate that as well this morning show is really interesting to watch and all you of really you like maneuvering it? and doing all these things you watch it a lot from bed do you charlie i, I see it between the toes i do yes indeed yeah. <laughs> i was on here 20 years ago when you were oh on. i remember <laughs> ever heard the phrase keep you're still to in your nurse's uniform yeah. <laughs> anyway we're going to link you up to stand up to so glad website. you remember my name <laughs> Still takes over every segment. Have you noticed? <laughs> and runs long for the segment. <laughs> uh, next, the news on how news is reported. A behind the scenes look that's coming up.